If you're looking to get started in a career in digital marketing and you're feeling overwhelmed by all the resources out there, then I have the solution for you. A curated digital marketing short course that's free. Stick around and I'll walk you through it. Hi, my name's Ed. I'm Chief Marketing Officer here at Career Foundry, and I've been working in the field of marketing for the last 12 years. When I started out, there weren't so many resources available to start studying digital marketing, but now, obviously, the internet is full of them. However, this can be a little bit overwhelming, so what I've got today is a free digital marketing short course. You can find the link for that below, which gives you a nice, gentle, but comprehensive introduction to the field. So once you've signed up for the short course, you'll get an email that gives you access to your dashboard. In this email, then it gives you a little bit of background about what the first tutorial is about and also gives you a link which gives you access to the first tutorial. And even better, you can also sign up for some free digital marketing events which give you a background on what to expect from the industry and also some of the first and most important skills to acquire on your road to becoming a digital marketer. So now let's switch over to the main dashboard and here you can see all the different topics of the tutorials. So the first tutorial is basically a nice gentle introduction to the field of digital marketing, talking about what marketing is, what digital marketing is, how digital has impacted the world of marketing and what's changed over the last 20 or 30 years. And also the basic skills, both technical and non-technical that a digital marketer nowadays is expected to have. Moving on to the second tutorial, this is an introduction to the different digital marketing channels. Now, one thing you'll notice when you're becoming a digital marketer is that there are lots and lots of different roles and jobs and lots of different channels that you can work on from CRM to SEO to SEA to paid social to conversion rate optimization. And so understanding all of these different channels is super important in order that you can really understand and decide which direction that you want to go in. If you'd like any more information about any of those roles, drop a comment on the comment section and we might make a video just for you. Tutorial number three is all about about marketing research. So all good marketing starts with good research. In this tutorial, we dive into the different types of research and how to carry it out. And then after you've done your research, then you can start ideating, you can start producing your campaign materials, and you can start measuring your performance. And to measure your performance, you need your marketing metrics. And that's a ton of quite confusing different acronyms like CPAs and CACs and all sorts. In this tutorial, we'll untangle all those acronyms and give you a definition of each. And in tutorial number five, we're looking at what makes a good creative. So how do you actually produce a good ad and good copy and good imagery for a marketing campaign. And finally, to wrap up, after you've studied all those different areas of digital marketing, we have a short test to test your knowledge and see if you've remembered all the most important points and aspects of the course. Now, obviously anyone can just fly through this course, but I really recommend reading everything in detail and taking your time because it's bound to give you then a good foundation uh, for your first steps into digital marketing. So now we're done with the overview of the course, let's dive into the first tutorial and walk through it together. So if we dive into the first tutorial, this basically gives you an introduction to digital marketing and it kicks off with the definition of marketing itself because obviously to understand digital marketing, you first need to understand what marketing is. Then it dives into digital marketing here. The definition is quite interesting because digital marketing nowadays isn't just about online marketing. It's really about all the kind of marketing you can do across digital devices. And more and more we see this blur between the line of what is online and what is digital. Then a super interesting topic, how has digital changed marketing? And here it's really broken down into different areas that have impacted how we do marketing nowadays. Next up, we have the question of what a digital marketer actually does. And it starts here with kind of mindset that a marketer has, and that's the mindset of the optimist, essentially. So the someone who wants always more and someone who wants always better. And then it also emphasizes one thing that's quite nice about the role of the digital marketer, and that's this really nice mix of uh, the creative aspect or the creative side of the role and the analytical side of the role. So you have to be creative in terms of dreaming up campaigns that are going to be effective, but you also need to be analytical in terms of figuring out based upon the data that you get, what's working and what's not working. Then it briefly dives into the process. So as I mentioned earlier, going from 
these first early stages of research and then into ideation and then into production and distribution and analysis and how that analysis feeds back into the research again so that you have this cyclical working process. And finally, the tutorial wraps up by looking at the technical and non-technical skills that a marketer needs. So as you can see in this first tutorial, you really get the foundational knowledge to decide whether digital marketing is going to be something that's interesting for you. If it sounds good, then we can also move on to look at tutorial two. So jumping into tutorial two, we can see that this is all about an introduction to the various different digital marketing channels. So this tutorial actually starts with uh, one of the basic principles of marketing, and that's the marketing funnel. So this idea that when you run a campaign or a brand campaign, you're trying to build awareness at the top of the funnel. So you're trying to reach a lot of people so that they know about your products and they remember your products. And then as you work your way down the funnel, you get closer and closer to that purchase moment. And this funnel is important to understand because all the digital marketing channels typically play a different role at each part of this funnel. So let's look at a couple of the most common ones. First up is search engine optimization. So this is all about optimizing your website to make it more visible for search engines like Google. Next up, we have social media marketing. And this is obviously a huge area. If you think how many people and how much time they spend on different social media platforms, this is all about using those platforms to reach people to communicate the value of your product to them. Then we have PPC, and this relates to things like Google search ads. So when you search for something in Google and the first two or three positions are advertising different companies who are paying for those spots, it's basically the admin and management of all those different ads. And then moving on to CRM, we were talking about the funnel earlier on. With those first channels, we're typically talking about further up the funnel around awareness, interest, maybe consideration. For CRM, it's actually more mid-funnel. So here you're nurturing uh, those people who have already shown an interest in your product. And it's more around the evaluation or decision-making phase. So you're using uh, email marketing typically in order to inform them in more detail about your product. So moving on to the next section, it discusses how these different channels fit into the funnel. And then finally, you wrap up with a short summary. So by the end of this tutorial, you'll have a good idea of some of the key roles within digital marketing. And maybe you've got an idea already where you could fit in. So whether you want to work on brand marketing at the top of the funnel, building awareness, or maybe you want to work on a channel like CRM, email marketing, using perhaps your copywriting skills in order to nurture people to the point at which they purchase your product or service. Okay, diving into tutorial number three. This is all about marketing research. And in the opening paragraphs, it talks about how a good digital marketer will balance research and quantitative and qualitative data with a good intuition for what kind of marketing will work. Then if we scroll down a little bit further, it starts to categorize the different types of research. So you have, for example, primary and secondary research, where primary research is using the data that you have yourself, so the company's proprietary data, and secondary research is using other companies' market analysis, for example, or using third-party tools that provide data about trends and use cases within the world of, of marketing. So in the next section, it breaks down different categories of research. Uh, we looked at primary and secondary, and if you scroll down a little bit further, it differentiates between quantitative research and qualitative research, and then when we scroll down even further, it talks about the different sources of data for this kind of research, whether it's qualitative or quantitative. So there's the user research. So obviously talking to those people that use your product or might use your product. Competitor research, so looking at the competitor landscape, the companies that are competing for the same target market as you. And then finally, uh, analytics and internal reporting. So all of the information that comes off the back of your marketing campaigns and what you can learn from that and feed into your research. So as you can see, this tutorial is a little bit more technical, but what it does really well is give you all the vocabulary you need to be able to talk about marketing research. So let's move on now to tutorial number four, and this looks at the world of marketing metrics. Now for a beginner, marketing metrics can be extremely confusing because there are tons of three letter acronyms like SEO, SEA, CPC, CPC, CPA, CTR that you need to understand in order to be able to have a conversation basically within a marketing team. So in this tutorial, in the introduction, it basically gives you a bit of theory as to why metrics and KPIs in marketing are so important and how they contribute to running a healthy and sustainable company. Then as we scroll down further, it looks at the difference between a metric and a KPI and how we select KPIs for different teams. And then 
talks about secondary metrics. So those are the metrics that you use to build up a more holistic or complete picture of performance within your particular marketing role. Then if we scroll down a little bit further, you see actual examples of different metrics that we might look at. Again, split down by the funnel that we looked at earlier on in the course. So you have the upper funnel metrics like impressions and clicks and the CTR. Also all those derivative metrics, things like the cost per impression and cost per click. Moving further down, you have those first interactions that people have with your product potentially when they create a lead, when they leave their email address with you, for example, or sign up for a free short course, for example, would also be a creation of a lead. Then you have all the metrics that come off that, for example, the cost per lead, and then we move down to the lower funnel where it starts to get very close to that purchase moment. So there, not only do you have the theory of how we use metrics and why we use metrics, but you also have some concrete examples and when you understand that funnel and all those specific points on the funnel, then you're already making a lot of progress to becoming a digital marketer. So that brings us to the end of tutorial four. Now let's move on to the fifth and final tutorial, which is all about developing your first creative. And in this tutorial, we first talk about what a creative is. So essentially what a marketing asset is, and it could be a high production value television ad, or it could be a simple banner campaign that you might see on a website, or it could be an email. We talk a little bit about the best practices behind this. For example, balancing sensationalism with relevance uh, in the copy that you write to grab attention, but also not grab attention without losing that all important relevance to the product that you're selling. And then it gives a few examples of the kind of copy that might not really catch attention versus copy that really might catch attention. So here we have, for example, uh, online French lessons first week free is a little bit dry and plain. And the second example, start speaking French within one week free for your first week. So here uh, you have a good use of imperative at the beginning of the sentence. You have this limited time span, which gives you this sense of uh, rapid achievement, which is always desirable. And then you have this free for your first week, which is again, a bit more conversational than the first example. So here are just a few aspects of copywriting, which immediately spruce up the language and make it more attractive. And at the end of this tutorial, you also have the opportunity to start developing your own creative. And this is basically your opportunity to bring together all the knowledge that you've got and really produce something tangible. And once you've done that, you can move on to the final test. And here you can basically test the knowledge that you've acquired over the last five tutorials. So let's dive in there and see how I do. Okay, what is targeting in digital marketing? SEO, first step in the funnel. What does a lead typically mean? Which of the following is typically the lowest down the funnel? I think I'm doing pretty well so far. What are the four P's of marketing? <laughs> also similar. What is an efficiency KPI? And finally, what does CTR stand for? Let's see, 100%, fantastic. So that brings you to the end of the quiz. Hopefully you got a good score and hopefully you feel like you know everything you need to know to decide whether you want to take that next step towards becoming a digital marketer. So if you get over 70%, then you're also eligible for a 5% tuition reduction on the full Career Foundry digital marketing program which will take you from a complete beginner or near complete beginner all the way through to job ready marketing professional. If you'd like to find out more about the program, then check out the link in the description or jump on a call with one of our program advisors. Hopefully this course will provide you with all the information you need to decide whether digital marketing is the career for you. And with this video guide, I'm sure you will breeze through it. Be sure to share your journey with us in the comment section below. Let us know which stage of the journey you're on, whether you're just starting out or whether you're about to land that first job, we would love to know. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel because there's lots more digital marketing content on its way. And if you're really serious about getting into digital marketing, I really recommend watching this video, which will give you tons of background about all the different areas of the field. That pretty much wraps it up for today. So I shall bid you adieu and see you next time.